I recently had a friend tell me that like he doesn't want to learn flips because he's bulking and like I never really thought about that though I'm bulking not very well clearly it I never even really occurred to me that getting too heavy would stop me from doing flips but like yeah it's kind of fair enough so obviously it's easier to learn flips when you weigh less that's why gymnasts are pretty much mostly female and all the best gymnasts are female on the floor but at what point does bodybuilding actually like negatively affect your tricking because you know basically every single pro tricker is built exactly the same they're not necessarily skinny but you know they're pretty thin and like they're usually pretty lean very rarely more than like one 50 if I were to take a guess. So why would weighing more really make it harder to flip? Well, it's kind of self-explanatory. You know, you're less aerodynamic when you take up more space. So if you're trying to spin, if you're the size of a rail, obviously you're gonna spin a lot faster than if you're the size of like a house. So yeah, you have more wind resistance, so you're not gonna be able to spin as fast. But when it comes to this, I do think there are definitely caveats that people don't think of. Cause when you're really jacked, uh, usually you're a lot stronger than the average person. So you won't be able to flip as fast, but you absolutely will be able to jump higher because I don't know about you, I'm pretty sure most bodybuilders can squat a lot more than the average person. So they can jump a lot higher for the most part. If someone's bulking, it's kind of almost canceled out just because they can jump a lot higher. Additionally with flips, a bodybuilder's core is usually a lot stronger than the average person, at least once they've started to cut. So so yeah, while their tuck won't necessarily be as small, it'll be a lot more solid, you know, because they have a much stronger core, assuming they work out their core. By the way, I just want to cut in and say that 97% of you watching aren't subscribed, which is crazy. Hit the fucking button. Hit it now. Hit the But everything I've just said is kind of just speculation. So do I have any proof? Absolutely, I do. For Juju Mufu, I just discovered this dude. He's so fucking cool. He's my new favorite tricker. He's basically, uh, he's one of the pioneers of tricking. Um, he started tricking in like 2000. He's been doing martial arts since he was a little kid. And I guess he started teaching himself tricking before it even existed. He's got his own website and that's where I got the stats for this. He weighs 240 pounds and he's out there doing like dub fulls and dub swings on grass. So yeah, he's, along with this, he's one of the pioneers and he's one of the best trickers in the world. So yeah, in my opinion, that settled it. Uh, bodybuilding it does not really compromise your tricking. Sure, if your goal is to be like the very tippity top, there, there definitely is a pattern that everyone at the very top has the same kind of build. But if you're just trying to get really good, and I mean, you can get really good with this as long as you're not trying to do like quint foals and shit. No, bodybuilding absolutely will not hinder your tricking. All you have to do is watch a compilation of this dude and <laughs> that will totally change your mind on it. So I hope this inspired you as well as it did me. Um, thank you for watching. Bye.